We're on our way out to the outdoor onsen. And we're gonna be stopping and get our mocha mochis, as I'm gonna name them from now on. This is a good route to the place that we're going because right behind me is Lake Tawada. It has a gorge that we just passed through that I had to drive kind of quickly through because it required a lot of people slowing down. It will be for a later video, but they have swan boats on this lake and you could take a tour that takes you throughout the whole lake, which is actually pretty huge. There's tons of stuff to see, but this will be made in a later video when we come back and have time to actually see the whole area of the lake in all its entirety just look at this spectacular view this is the first outlook point that we've come across just look at it we're on top of a two-story building of all things just look at all the beautiful scenery behind me this is lake tawada you can see all the mountains back there everything that encompasses the lake from this viewpoint <laughs> Right behind me is a roadside stand that you're selling various things from snacks to hats and wooden sandals to paper mache masks. We are at the Osaka Mine Office next to the Kabuki Theater here in a city next to Odate. So we're at the gift shop inside the coal mining office and they have a whole bunch of the standard Japanese gifts in here and postcards that my wife likes. But this is like set in a building for 18th century Western style as apparently maybe the American person that helped develop the Japanese coal industry came here And this is the period that he came from even got beeswax candles Since we're in the Akita prefecture, they have a lot of Akita themed things like these Snack boxes and the puppy cookies right here. They even have a toy section for lush Akita puppy. Look at all this They even have this weird blueberry yogurt ice cream. Yes. That grape froyo from the coal mining office here in Akita. Delicious, huh? Mm hmm. All right, you guys, I got a giant dam behind me. This thing's probably the biggest dam I've seen. And yeah, this thing stretches across the whole valley all right folks we didn't make it to the onsen today but we are back at lake tawada we're gonna be driving around in one of these swan boats for 20 minutes because it's been a lifelong dream for me and my wife since we first laid eyes on our first swan boat should be fun not only did we not make it to the onsen today, but we couldn't rent the swan boats because it's too windy, causing rough paddling conditions. This place is called Towadakto, and prices are behind me, so we'll be coming here within the next couple of days to go on our swan boat ride. 